Basically, a Montessori school is a school designed by Maria Montessori, who created the first Montessori school about 100 years ago. So it's very different from the traditional classroom. Children do not sit in one seat all day. They move around, they, go, they choose act their own activities, rather than having the teacher choose for them. And again, that's a key part of one of Maria Montessori's uh, observations, is that children internally, they know what's important to them, and they know what they need to do. For the CASA classroom, the class is divided from three to six-year-olds. Um, the lower elementary is six to nine-year-olds, and the upper elementary is nine to twelve-year-olds. And again, that, that, that works just beautifully because you have this age mix, and, uh, and over the course of the three years in the classroom, the children kind of progress to become that older brother and sister, and they're kind of helping everyone out and, and uh, becoming a real leader within the classroom. The teacher's not in charge. The teacher um, is a link to the classroom. We're a link to the environment and a link to the Montessori materials. We introduce the materials to the children. We call them lessons, um, but we're not the only ones. It's, the whole class helps to run the whole environment. In a traditional Montessori school, there is no tests, no marks, no grades. Because quite often what the test does is gives this child a sense of, look at how much I don't know. We definitely don't, don't need the test at the younger ages, but even at the older ages where the children are getting into uh, grades three, four, and five, and six, um, again, that's the, the teacher's role. The teacher's role is to figure out what this child knows and how well they know it. Um, children don't have a negative connotation of the word work. We do call it work in Montessori, but what is work? It is purposeful activities. Um, so they are free to choose, but they don't have complete freedom. It's freedom within limits if done properly. Uh, what a child gets from a Montessori environment is this love of learning. If they have a love of learning, they can move into any kind of environment at that point. They can go to a different kind of system of, of uh, education or, or a traditional or public school, whatever it happens to be. And they usually adapt quite well because, again, what's hopefully instilled in them is I love to learn, I love to uh, work, I love to uh, educate myself. We see children who come back and visit and everyone seems happy and, and learning well, as though they've been learning well and, and that they've adapted. Uh, something that we really encourage parents to do is to involve their children at home in what we call practical life. Having the children see you handwriting shopping lists or writing things out so that they can see you doing these activities, then they will pick them up and know that that is real life living to help build the child's uh, self-esteem and self-confidence and to get them involved and feel good about themselves, they need to be involved. They need to feel a part of the family. And we also know that all these activities, uh, um, you know, setting the table, shoveling, those are activities that really enhance a child's concentration, focus, uh, they develop their, um, their control and coordination. Uh, and what ultimately comes out of it is they develop their self-discipline and their, and their will. By the time they get up to uh, you know, teenage years, they're usually quite uh, self-sufficient and they can, you know, uh, do a lot of things on their own. One of the key concepts of Montessori is that um, Maria Montessori realized that children universally around the world, they develop in the same way, regardless of what country you're from or, or what nation you're from. Uh, every child is the same and every child goes through these stages of development and, have, and has these certain needs at each stage. So based on that, Montessori, yes, it should be for every child and uh, because you know every child should flourish within a, a Montessori classroom.